Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm not at my door today. I'm the door at the door of McCarg Elementary School. This is a school in the city of Radford where my children actually went to school here. And I taught in this school system. And right now, this school that was built in 1957 is getting renovated. And it's a much needed renovation. But the reason Nature at Your Door is here today is to talk about a fundraising project for chimney swifts. At this school, here, there was a, a chimney here since 1957 where hundreds and hundreds of native chimney swifts would come every April to roost and to nest here. The chimney swifts arrive here from South America, some of them from the country of Peru and other surrounding countries, and they fly thousands of miles to come. So here's the thing. These birds, when they fly these thousands of miles, they're coming here. These birds are coming here to roost in the chimney that's not here. So today's episode of Nature at Your Door is going to present a brief biology of chimney swifts and talk about this fundraiser here at the city of Radford, how you can contribute to it if you choose. Projects like this around the country, building chimney swift towers, is helping the chimney swifts whose populations are, are in decline. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And there's a make this invasive. There's a top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. This is McCarg Elementary School, what used to be a chimney associated with this school that chimney swifts have been coming to since 1957. And this project is going to try to restore some of this chimney habitat that these birds have been using. The hope is that we can get this project done by April for the return of the swifts. And the project involves building a new chimney right here whose sole purpose is going to be for the chimney swifts. The Chimney Swift Tower Project is already off to such a great start thanks to local citizens and members of the original planning group, which include Wilson Ranklin, Clyde Kessler, Bob Sheehy, Liz Altieri, Rob Graham, and Jack Murphy. The Swift Tower Project received a resounding approval at an October 2020 school board meeting. The collaboration, involvement, and investment by Thompson and Linton, the architecture firm that made the school renovation plans, and Avitz Construction of Roanoke that is doing the job, has already been nothing short of inspiring. Thomas and Linton designed the plans for a permanent brick and mortar structure that aesthetically matches the school and meets the exacting standards of design to meet the needs of these special birds. Non-intrusive webcam technology will be included to make this a continuing educational resource for the local schools, community, Radford University, and hopefully nature at your door. I think it's a great thing for the city of Radford. It can benefit the city in many ways, and it's another point of interest in Radford based on local natural resources. Swift's Towers are being initiated and constructed around the country, and this will be the first in southwestern Virginia. It's a really cool event or experience to come to the chimney and watch the birds, these masters of aerial acrobatics, dive in and out, especially when they all return in the evening at sunset. Before European settlers arrived in North America, chimney swifts nested on cliffs and in hollow trees. As America became built up, the hollow trees were essentially replaced by chimneys, and the birds nested in the chimneys. The birds make a saliva and put twigs together and glue chimneys in kind of a cup shape right against the sides of the chimney. Chimney swifts themselves have very short feet, never perch. They're always on the wing. 
they get water on the wing. They even grab twigs on the wings to build their nests. They're always flying. And they have very short legs. And they really, they're not long enough to perch. And they can only cling on the sides of things. So they fly all day and then return to their roosts and cling on the sides of chimneys, for example, to roost for the night. Chimney swifts are considered to be beneficial birds because they catch up to 12,000 insects per day. Roger Tory Peterson described chimney swifts as looking like a flying cigar. <laughs> they are very streamlined and they have curved wings. So if you want to learn more about this project and if you're interested in donating, uh, it's a really great cause to donate to. Uh, check on the description below my video on the right. Click on that and I'll have some links to the fundraising brochure as information on how to donate and has some more information on Chimney Swifts and some other video links that you can click on to learn more about Chimney Swifts. So thanks for watching Nature at Your Door. I hope you found this interesting. So if you'd like to donate, I know that folks here would really appreciate your donation. And I know the Chimney Swiss will appreciate it too. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.